Now, prevention of accidents. Number one, obey rules and regulations both at home and at school. Every instruction that is given to you is to prevent or to save you from getting injured. You must obey them. Not playing with sharp objects. Like I said before, razor blade is a sharp object. If you play with it, it will cut your finger, it will cut any part of your body. It is dangerous. Making use of the pedestrian and zebra crossing. This has to do with crossing the road or using the road. This is part of the say, road safety regulations. When you are crossing a major road, cross on the pedestrian bridge or the zebra crossing. Switch off all electrical appliances before leaving home. When you are about to leave your house, look at all the switches. Make sure they are put off before you leave your house to avoid a spark and fire outbreak before you get back home. Then we talk about safety gadgets. I talked about fire outbreak the other time. We have the fire extinguisher. In a situation where there is a fire outbreak, we need the fire extinguisher to put the fire off. So this is called fire extinguisher. As an engineer or an electrician working with heavy loads or working with electricity, you need rubber safety boots to protect you from electrocution. So this is these are called safety gadgets. We have the helmet that is worn on the head. We have the hand glove. We have the laboratory coat. We have goggle. We have apron. What do you mean by goggle? Every welder wears a big eyeglass. That is not eyeglass. We, it is called what? Goggle. It protects the eyes from the light. Apron is mostly worn in the barber's shop or in the kitchen. Why do we wear apron in the kitchen? So that if there is any drop of oil, it will not get to our skin. We wear the hand glove to protect our arm from injury. Also, when we are working with electricity, if you are in the laboratory, it is expected to wear the laboratory coat. This is what we have today in our science. Like I have said before, our topic is safety and accident. We defined safety as a state of preventing danger or harm to ourselves. Then safety measures using the zebra crossing, wearing hand gloves while doing electrical connections, wearing helmets when traveling on motorcycle. We came to accidents. We said that accidents are mishaps that can cause harm, damages, or even death. What causes accidents? Violating traffic rules, playing football on the road, playing with lighted candles, playing with dangerous weapons, climbing tables and chairs, dropping pieces of fruit on the floor. There are ways we can prevent this accident from occurring. That brings us to prevention of accidents. Obey rules and regulations both at home and at school. Not playing with sharp objects. Play, making use of the pedestrian and zebra crossing. Switch off all electrical appliances before leaving home. I may add, do not play football on busy roads. We have mentioned some of the gadgets. I will give you some questions to evaluate our lesson. Define accidents. Two, what is fire extinguisher used for? And three, List two preventive two prevention of 
accidents. That is the lesson for today. Thank you for listening.